Hi, I'm gonna teach you how to make this really cute fishy that looks like Dory. It takes three 260s, a five inch round, a black Sharpie, and a pink sharp Sharpie for the eyeballs. Let's get started. So I've already pumped up my balloons. As you can see, I use different shades of blue just because it's fun all right so I've left this much tail it's about five fingers and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small bubble for the first lip and how you're gonna do that is you're gonna bring in the slack you're gonna make a one finger bubble bring in the slack and twist as you can see it makes almost like a little bean shape bubble comes the first lip next I'm gonna make another one same size fold pull and pin. next I'm gonna make uh, this is gonna be about a five finger bubble or strip of balloon it's about five five to six we're gonna make five okay so it's about five and you're gonna make another pinch twist here make sure you're squeezing your balloons this is about uh, I say one and a half this is a pinch twist Next, you're gonna make a, this is about, this this part here is about, uh, I say about six finger bubble. So about this, this much. And you're gonna make two pinch twists here. And the pinch twists are about one and a half bubble, one and a half finger bubble. It's not too big. Mainly the the pinch twists are for your balloons to get locked, meaning it's going to keep it steady and sturdy so that it doesn't come undone. Okay, next I'm going to do this part the bottom part and this is about like 10 finger uh, it's like a big sausage balloon so it's about 10 fingers I would say that's one and two so around here and that should be the bottom part and you kind of want to uh, Curve it. It's going to be the bottom part. Okay, and then you want to twist it in to the lips. Twist it in. And next, you want to do the midsection. And you want to pull it in as much as possible so that it could curve. and just weave it in to the pinch so just a tiny tiny little bubble and if you have if, you, if it's long enough you can actually create the slack if not a bubble is fine so it's like a tiny tiny bubble and just leave it in. This is what you have. Okay. Next, you're gonna do the top. Oops. Okay, I'm done. Flip it. Okay. Okay. 
secure. This side is the smaller side and this is going to be the front. Okay. It's going to be the back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Next, you're going to take your black 260 and you're going to do this part here. And it's just basically going to be on top of this. And you're going to twist it in. Make another pinch, two pinch twists here. And you want this not so that you can lock it so much, but because you want the color, the black color to be on that side. I'm gonna do the tail, the yellow tail there. And you want a little bit of black to show. So I'm making a pinch twist here. I'm gonna make two. Squeeze and make a small, it's gonna be like a one finger, a one finger uh, pinch twist. Nothing, uh, nothing too big. So this is what we have so far. So I don't need this part anymore. I'm gonna move it and I am going to just wrap it around just to lock it. And you could even uh, bring it in in between these two pinch twists and hide the slack. And this is what we have so far. All right, so next I'm gonna use the yellow. And again, these are different shades of the original balloon that I showed you. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna weave this in, in between these two. And you're gonna make like a three bubble, I'm gonna make it a four bubble thin. And this is a yellow 260. So you're gonna make a small pinch twist, a one finger bubble, and then you're gonna make it into a pinch twist, fold it, pull it, pinch it, twist. Now bring it in. Same thing on this side. I'll squeeze your balloon. Make a small one finger bubble, hold it, pull it, pinch it, twist. You're going to make another, uh, a loop, right? Okay, same size, you want the same size because it's going to be the thin. Then just wrap it a little bit. You want to save this part for the end, for the tail. So let go of this, get some air out, tie this one, and just wrap this flap around. And always remember to keep some scissors start, uh, handy, because if it's too much slack, you want to clean up your designs, you definitely want to have that. Okay. So next, we're going to squeeze this, and basically all we're going to do is make a tail for the back with what's left. challenges and what you could possibly face so sometimes I won't clean up my video so that you can see what challenges you could have ahead all right and then I'm just going to twist this oh darn it. or not okay just kind of giving me a hard time here but okay so basically you want one to be a little bit bigger than the other one and, and we're creating this so that you can wrap it around the end of the tail. So it's going to lock 
We're going to put it here at the end of the tail. Now you could do that or you could just use the slap. But I like making little tiny bubbles. It just makes it a lot easier. As you can see, this is what we have so far. And just put it all in place. So let's make the eyeballs. So it's just basically a five inch round white. Pump it up once, let out some air. Meet the middle. And so you're gonna make it into two, uh, two little bubbles, same size. I'm gonna wrap the slap around and this is what you have. And so you want to put it in, weave it in through here. And this is what we have so far. All right, and the art is very simple. So it's gonna, I'm gonna have the black one and the pink one. So first, uh, the pink one for the, I believe the iris. So just make a round, I don't know if you can see it. Round, and then you're gonna fill it in with black. So I'm making two. Then I'm gonna use the black and just fill it in. The art is not complicated at all. Very easy. And it looks great. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Comment. Give me a like. You like it. And uh, don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can teach you more of my design and the way I do it. Just keep swimming.